Yeah, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change, to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three method Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. We set it inside Ladies the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Oak Grove, Minnesota, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one. Whoa! All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. There's no tell on that leg kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just misses with that big right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? 
kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Tight to behold. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Gotta start raising that guard or this is gonna be the end of the fight. I mean, it's gonna be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Just out of range with that right hand. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Nice leg kick land. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice loop and bunch. A oh, little single collar tie there. And they separate. Liver kick. Just out of range with that right hook. able to find that precise range with the high kick. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Let's go, King. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. 15 seconds to go. Over and over, he's landed. Huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, 
give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Lee gets caught with that punch. Nice head kick. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on feet right now. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, and he caught the kick. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Just over three minutes to go. Hands higher, hands higher. Yeah. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice spinning attack to the body lands for him. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Beautiful punch. Oh, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Lee. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, blocks the shot. Flipped with a left hand counter. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the side kick, DC. Real nice technique to land that side kick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't got himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Oh, big punch land. in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas. Oh! oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Round three coming up next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Well, 
Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Good punch land. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Threw the punch, got to the target. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Ooh, what a head kick. Nice punch there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. It was a good night if that landed. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. <laughs> Missed with that attempt. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Nice leg kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, diving punch lands. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. It's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. What a punch. sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ruth the Dragon Lee! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.